What's up everyone? We are back with some more SMBX adventures and we are playing the Universe Wars. So t <laughs> today we're at the entry to the Black Seed of Todikos. And I am nervous about this because um, I don't know if we're going to be able to get through here. That's what I'm, I'm nervous. This is some sort of gate to test how many shines we got and I don't know if we've gotten them all. I should have read that fucking sign. Well, apparently it doesn't matter. <laughs> so let's read the sign anyways. You need five stars to break the shield of the Black Seed. Okay, that is awesome, actually. If that's all it takes. It's a little choose your own adventure. Black Seed, Todiko's Homeworld. Oh my god. That jump is not, not too easy to make. Let me get another one, please. Thank you. Oh, cut! Land next to the only fucking problem. A little bit of cutoff here in the background, but, I mean, who am I to criticize? Um... What's going on? I don't get it. Oh, you can walk through that door. That's easy enough. <laughs> you can't slide down fucking... I've tried to slide down slopes multiple times already. It's just not happening. It's simply not meant to be. No, not you! I created a shield so I could corrupt your planet. Toticus, I'm Toticus, an old Toticos robot. <laughs> now I'm corrupted with black and I'm on their side. My mission is to stop intruders. Be prepared to be squished. This is so fucking awesome, dude. This game is gonna be... <laughs> this game's just fantastic. Seriously, like, what more can you ask for than, like, all this fun in action? You know what I mean? I, I'm having trouble with this part, but I'm assuming if I just blow up some of his fucking hands will be set. Like, this is... This, no, this is tough. Straight up tough, guys. How is that not enough to destroy him? Like, this is really fucking hard to do. And I have no idea how I'm supposed to get... Oh my god, I hate this. I really do. I can't seem to jump without throwing it either. I need to stop. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing wrong. Do I have to hold the button to hold it? That is what you do. Fucking damn it, this is gonna be hard. Whew, I have a feeling this is gonna take me. What the f What the fuck is that? Oh, it's some primitive form of a checkpoint. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand what the point of that is, but that's fine. This time we're gonna go in with two hits at least. Ah, maybe not. God damn it. That pipe is a little broken too. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, come on. Oh yeah, we got full life here. So that's fine as well. This time we're gonna be a little more careful. Dumb. Like, what is the timer for these blowing up? Like, ridiculous random? Whenever the fuck they feel like it? Oh, you throw them and they blow up on contact! Oh my god. See? There I go. Yeah, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna let you in on a little something. If I start whining about how this game's not fair, say, shut the fuck up, Squid. I'm giving you permission to be mean. Say, shut the fuck up, Squigs. Don't give me any of that. You don't even know what the fuck you're doing. Like, it's... It's your fault. <laughs> you should probably learn the rules of the game before you get bad at it. So that's the policy I have going forward. <laughs> is I need to be held accountable for my actions. I'll figure it out eventually, though. I don't think it's too much different than Super Mario World. It's just not the same. It's like the same style of stuff, though. It shouldn't be too hard to figure out how it all works. There you go. It, I really do think you have to hold the pickup button until you let go of it and then you throw it instantly. Like, that's weird. Weird to me, wouldn't you say? Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm not fucking around with any of them that have been on the ground for too long. I'm gonna play that game. Fucking dumb. Ah, it's been on the ground too long. What did I just say? 
This is <laughs> pain in the ass, but it's doable. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how I'm supposed to get those ones up in there without taking damage. That's what I'm most worried about. <sighs> Fucking, like, I might be able to get the one that's two back, but after that, it's gonna be a nightmare. I'll try to get those. If I do... Ah! Stupid move, stupid move. I was trying to throw it up, up and left. I could use these bombs, probably. Maybe that's the answer. <sighs> okay, now, now we're at the part where I have like no idea how to damage it, so it's gotta hopefully be the other bombs that are good at it. God, this part is so nerve-wracking for someone that's never played this before. It's getting used to the controls and like a difficult mechanic at once. Semi-difficult mechanic. Now, I'm going to go over here. Alright. Maybe if I could... Yeah, maybe I'll go underneath with it. That's... I mean, what did you expect, dude? Like, <laughs> that was dumb of me. But I, I think that's the plan. We'll just... We'll take those bombs and we'll run around with them. Alright, I don't know how to get in that fucking door anymore, apparently. What the fuck am I supposed to- There's not even a time of it. I have no idea what the hell is up with that pipe. That pipe is fucked. That pipe is fucked, folks, but... I mean, it's not too bad, I'd say. Yep, give me both of those. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Give me my first round of bombos. Come on. And we'll come and- Yeah, take that side out right away. Oh my god, it's like it's too easy. Like, who put this fucking cheesy boss? This is the final boss? I mean, come on. He could have done a little better than this. Don't you think? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna definitely die because I was being cocky. We learned that lesson a few episodes ago. Just a few episodes and I've already forgotten it. Wax wings, man. Wax wings. That, those last two are gonna be hard regardless. Regardless of which angle you come come out on. <laughs> this whole thing is pretty difficult for someone like me. Ah, that one scared me. Straight up legit terror. Kinda like being smaller, but it's it's more scary, but it's I feel like I'll be better able to throw the bombs. I don't know if that's true. Cool battle music, too. Cracking some kind of industrial whips right now. <laughs> That's some thinking music, cracking industrial whips. I think it is. <gasps> Come on, man. This is so fucking hard. <sighs> I don't know what to do here. Walk into my death. <laughs> Give me the bomb. Yeah. Fucking stupid. I'm an idiot. God damn it. I don't want to go on. <laughs> the worst part about dying is having to fight with that little pipe every time. <laughs> See how long it's going to take this time to get through it. There we go. Not great, actually. I want to hit that those high up ones like first. That is ideal. There we go. That's much better. We'll do the same on the other side. Should be fine. Give me the bomb. Give me the bomb. Fucking... Oh, you spawn on top of me, you piece of crap. Give him a pipe. Give me something here, dog. Fucking just spawn people on top of me. At whatever ass odd ass angle you want to. Me something like 
seriously, dog. Seriously, you gotta put that fucking there. <sighs> Damn it. Oh my god. You gotta be. <sighs> I keep wanting to just get the beginning part done without any problems, but I fuck up the first throw an alarming amount of times for a functioning adult. It's not that hard. Now that, that part sucks though. Now we fucking like basically lose, apparently. According to the rules of SMBX, which is don't ever knock out that fucking, the bricks around that top brick. How did I do, what did I, how did I do the basketball shot? You, you gotta be fucking kidding me. So like up and left allows you to do some sort of shooting hoops shots. God. So once again, I didn't know the mechanics of the game. I'm complaining about how they work. Fucking right on, Squigs. You're a boss. <laughs> Alright, we'll wait. Yeah, until it gets to about there. That sounds good. This way we don't even have to run bombs to the other side. Like, can you imagine? This is really tough for me, though. I don't think it'll be that tough once I get used to it, though. As soon as I get used to this we'll have this beaten. Actually, this might be the run. Should it go as well as it's been going? I want it when it's moving upwards, I think, to hit the last one there. Oh my god. Thank you. I don't... I, Editor Squake, slow down the message for the people. And then die. <laughs> god damn it. Game playing Squakes needs not to talk to Editor Squakes. He needs to worry about his own goddamn problems. Which is this bunny that's smashing us. Oh my god. Terrifying, right? I'm terrified anyways. Holy crap. Toticus, oh no, my arm! I mustn't us underestimate you. Hot, hot, system overloaded. I have to open my heart to get out the smoke. Ah, that's better. Fucking had so much heart barn, it opened up a portal to another world. That is something else. Can't like jump in the sky there. I'm waiting for those to blow up. That's how scared I am. Oh my god, if that, if that bomb seriously just got me. Oh, his heart is part of the challenge. I thought it was a portal out. <sighs> All right, we'll be back. Oh. Oh, that only formed half the staircase, I see. Didn't want to do that. Whatever. There we go. I'm getting fucking pro at launching volleyballs right into this spiky hand thing. I have no idea what to do here, but I believe it involves hitting it with bombs. <laughs> I guess. What do you think, folks? Okay, come on. That's cool. Cool little effect there. Come on. Looks like that was drawn in paint. Little like offsided two little circles. It's cool if you can draw your own graphics for this game, which I bet you can. It came with like a file, a folder full of like PNGs and shit like that. Snake. So I'm assuming you can just draw shit and add it right in. If so, it's pretty cool. I am I'm really digging this. This game has a level creation engine. It's got a lot of the things I love in ROM hacking, but with more options. It's just like all the Mario's put together. Although I don't, the controls are a little bit wonky though. Um, in comparison to like playing like a classic old Mario game, you know what I mean? So that's like, I think the upside for the downside. It just doesn't feel as good as playing Super Mario World, but it looks way better. Well, not necessarily even, because you can do crazy shit with that too, but like, you, it's easy to make it, to add in a lot of custom stuff, it looks like. Toticus, damn, you pain. I disappointed my master. I don't earn to live. You do not earn to live, you piece of crap. Let's get out of here before this is done blowing up. Hey, a shine. Got shine sprite. Toticus defeated, destroyed the black seed of the Toticus' homeworld. Oh my god. We got 10 shines now. That's a pretty good number. Pretty s Whoa, that was neat. 
Like, the special effects and shit you can do are awesome. Toad, are you there? We need to speak to you. The Black Seed is destroyed. Thanks. Unfortunately, we've noticed that our planet isn't the only one which is corrupted by black. Sar Sarga got attacked by a meteorite, too. <laughs> the surface of the planet is very hot, so you're only able to enter the underground caves. The Black Seed is surrounded by lava. Apparent the meteorite can control where it lands. We updated your spaceship. You can fly to the other planets now, but we haven't found the Admiral yet. Where is he? I fucking skipped it! God damn it! Uh, Editor Squigs, slow that shit down. You know what to do by now. You've been on it. You know. You know this game. So where does that lead us? Oh shit, hold on. I'm getting it. I'm sorry. Alright, sorry about that. I basically, I had something that was playing sound effects. I didn't want them to get recorded and shit, so I had to go shut it off. I forgot to shut it off like I always do. Anyways, what do we got here? We got little orbs that remind me of the things from Mega Man 3. Ooh, to Toriko's homeworld. Sorry. So, yeah, it looks like we got more adventure. See, I, I wasn't sure when I said that there was 11 levels if I meant there was 11, like, stars. I don't remember exactly what I read. So I thought that might be the final boss of the game. But it looks like it's going to keep going. We got a whole fucking world out here. Fire world. So let's check the time. Yeah, that's going to be about it for this episode. Yeah, it looks like we're going to only be able to do, like, one one level per episode till I get used to this. I think, but I mean, it's coming along. I feel like I'm getting a little better anyways. So thank you once again for joining me, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll be back next time with Sorig, <laughs> the enigmatic name for whatever the hell you... What is even Sorig? Probably a Totico. <laughs> I don't know. The plot's a little loose, but I actually like the, the, the amount of time he put into the story. It's like... It's very story-based. Very story-based. And there's still some fun parts, too. So it's kind of cool. I think this is... A, I'm, pretty cool first hack or a pretty cool first whatever you'd call this episode i think is what they call them anyways i'm fucking rambling for no reason at all thanks for joining me folks i'll catch you in the next one have a great afternoon